If you wanted to donate a lot of money to Democrat political campaigns, but couldn't do it legally, you couldn't ask for a better option than Act Blue. Act Blue is a web-based platform that acts as the middleman for small dollar donors. At the click of a button, anyone can pitch in as little as a couple of bucks to the Democrat of their choice, and Act Blue takes care of the rest. It also creates a golden opportunity for people looking to evade campaign finance laws. So envision an individual uh, who wants to break the laws related to campaign finance and wants to put money into U.S. campaigns. If that individual went and purchased prepaid uh, debit and credit cards, went and grabbed uh, publicly available information through the FEC website of any American donor, they'd have their name, their work, their home address, could insert that on behalf of that person, process the prepaid debit or credit card, and the money would flow into the campaign. This is a real risk in particular uh, as it relates to international actors. Seems far-fetched. Investigative journalist James O'Keefe didn't think so. He tracked down some small dollar donors who supposedly made thousands of individual contributions adding up to big bucks. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to, to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name and this address. No, that's, that's not us. Does it sound about right that there's been 18,000 contributions? Absolutely not. For the... For, Absolutely not. In the amount of like $170,000? Absolutely not. Really? Yes. What about $18,850? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> not that many donations. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Congressman Brian Stile is leading an investigation of Act Blue through the House Administration Committee. He says allowing the use of prepaid credit and debit cards is what enables this crime. And you can't put all the blame on Act Blue. Currently, there is no law or regulation against it. The easiest action would be for the Federal Election Commission to take emergency rulemaking uh, and end this practice, but we'll, we'll ultimately continue to apply pressure there uh, as well as move forward on our path. Uh, to move forward with legislation, and then third, to continue our investigation to shine light uh, onto what we're discovering in this regard. The scale and scope of this potential problem is unknown. Styles Committee does not have direct access to Act Blue's records. But evidence collected by citizen watchdog groups and journalists like James O'Keefe continue to mount up. Given that Act Blue will raise billions of dollars this year alone for political campaigns is reason enough for concern, and for government to take basic precautions against illegal activity. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.